Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're not going to be doing any comedy sketches. We're doing something quite a bit different today, and I'm amped for it. Uh, a little bit nervous as well. We're going to be watching the 2011 Rugby World Cup quarterfinal between Australia and South Africa. Now this is a very controversial rugby match. I mean, the referee, Bryce Lawrence, he made some calls that were shocking, or at least it felt shocking at the time. And I've only seen the match once when, um, in 2011, obviously, watched it, um, and it's still ingrained in me. Like, I don't really remember the match too well, but I remember the process around it, you know, waking up for the match. It was quite early in the morning and so on. Um, and it's quite well ingrained in me, just that whole experience, because it was traumatic. I mean, it sounds a bit dramatic, but it really was traumatic for Springbok fans because it's, it's one thing to get knocked out of a Rugby World Cup, but it's another thing to get knocked out of a Rugby World Cup because of a bad ref. So we're going to watch it today, and um, I'm quite nervous uh, to, to see it. I mean, yeah, I uh, don't know what to expect. Uh, so let's take a look. Hope you enjoy this video. Here we go. Here we go. Look at the guys. Wow. Pat Lambie. Here we go. JP Peterson. Bismarck. Yeah. Not a lot of those guys are still playing. Hmm. Oh, that Springbok fan doesn't know what's coming. All those Springbok fans have no idea what's about to hit them. They are about to have literally their hearts crushed. You guys will notice the commentary is in Spanish. I couldn't find any other copy online. Oh, there he is. Bryce Lawrence. Typical forward pack South African rugby right there. Nice offloads. Yes, go Jean de Villiers. I feel like I'm watching this live. If I look at the body language of the Springbok players, our players look it doesn't seem like there's a good team buzz. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a good team energy. Ah, oh, there's Peter de Villiers. Ah. <laughs> um, doesn't look like there's a good team energy, eh? Everyone, no, there, there's no... There's no high fives with one another. No handshakes. No little pats. I don't really see much talking. None of that. Oh, there goes the ball. No. Oh, you know, you know what? I remember that try. I remember seeing this try when I was 13 years old and just feeling like sick to my stomach. He lost the ball somehow. Turnover, ball pops out. A few little passes. And they finish. Easy try, soft try. So now we're behind, 5-0. We have been dominating the whole match. We've been in their half the whole game. We've had possession, but we 5-0 down. And I think this is going to represent the entire match. Us dominating on paper, but the scoreboard saying otherwise. That was a good line-out move. Gee whiz. What's going on? <laughs> no, man. Okay. Um... Yeah, look, Ga I think that was Guthrie. He it looked like he was off of his feet there, did what he wanted. Uh, they also off their feet, man. Look, they off their feet there. Check at him. Check at number seven, man. He's off his feet. That's Pocock, David Pocock. I was just speaking about the breakdown now, and that is David Pocock off his feet. That should have been our penalty, guys. Come on, Spice. You're right there, boy. Skoki. He lost it. Guys, what the heck happened there? Skok lost it again. <laughs> no, Skok. Ah, sneaky David Pocock. That's what happened there. That should have been a penalty. Skokberg was on the ground there. Guys, Skokberg was on the ground there. It's a ruck. That player, who I think is David Pocock, put his hand in the ruck, drew the ball out. That is a blatant penalty. <laughs> it's rough down there. But the Aussies are 
on top of us physically and it's normally the other way around we normally the physical side Ooh, Yo, he grabbed him by the neck there Pocock's all over he's been in so many of the rucks they killing us at the breakdown man look how many forwards we have to put in to the rucks just to secure ball like five look at that Pocock oh my soul oh my word dude that is a blatant freaking penalty okay so the rucks made he's not allowed to get he's not allowed to go for the ball he's not allowed to put his hands in the ruck okay the the ruck's been made okay because there's a player there he puts his hands in he's literally holding the ball freaking flicks it to his side dives on it he's doing whatever the hell he wants in that ruck but where's the ref's position what's the linesman doing the linesman was freaking staring at that incident in its face and he did nothing i don't mind if we lose a match okay obviously i mind if we lose a match but it's one thing losing a match when you're the worst team but there's nothing worse than losing a match because of a bad ref okay oh we actually got a penalty okay so now this is a long range kick ladies and gentlemen if we had francois stain this would be like pretty much guaranteed but more stain he's not as great far out but let's see if he gets it yeah and that's a miss we aren't taking the opportunities we should be or like the aussies are just illegally destroying it for us that looked high bryce lawrence doesn't care your shoulder charge are you blind bryce i think we should call him blind bryce from now on Ooh, <laughs> he does not look happy yes uh beast did say that's a good lineup move there beast did say in his autobiography didn't really do much but that's uh, I, I don't know uh, oh we lost it there am i missing something how did that happen okay so guthrie has the ball there oh my word i saw it let's have a look at that again guthrie goes to the ground the guy with the blue scrum cap the aussie player tears it out from him right in front of bryce lawrence bryce lawrence is right there he's right in front of the ruck okay look okay that pocock got in first okay so he was entitled to, to steal the ball there i believe but he wasn't holding his own body weight okay we should see it now look do you see his hands on the ground there his hands on the ground i'm pointing at the screen you can't see that <laughs> but his hands on the ground you're not allowed to do that you have to show daylight and um that shouldn't have been a penalty for us it should have been a penalty for them it should have been a penalty for us i feel like the linesman is worse than bryce lawrence he has literally done nothing oh yes oh, <laughs> oh that sums up the first half right there nice shock free he was a tank this guy um let's just have a look at this do you see um pocock over there he went straight onto his feet onto his hands he wasn't supporting his body weight you see he went straight down not supporting his body weight over the ball you can't do that now this should be three points there we go we're on the board uh, yeah okay well that's half time guys the score is eight three let's have a look at the second half 